Hey guys, uh, wanted to take a moment today to give a shout out to this super awesome band that I came across recently. They're called Earth Crisis. They're basically a metal slash hardcore punk band um, that uh, has all kinds of awesome lyrics. They write against white supremacy, um, really all kinds of injustice. Um, and they have this one song, it's called Eden's Demise. Um, with a line in it that just really struck a chord with me. And, and the line reads, don't let your outrage for injustice end where your selfishness begins. Um, now, why did that hit home with me um, so much? Uh, basically, I've noticed uh, for a while now how in my circle of friends, in my, in my, fam my immediate family, just people that are close to me that I, that I choose to surround myself with because I think they're really awesome people with a good heart, um, many of them have a really good uh, sense, or really all of them have a really good sense of injustice, um, but then that sense of injustice does end where their own traditions, their own behavior um, would be interfered with if they were consistent. Uh, it's, it's really a sad thing to see. I'll, I'll give you uh, just one example. Uh, a lot for, for a lot of people, it's very easy to speak out, or really a few examples. For a lot of people, it's really easy to speak out against white supremacy, racism, um, sexism, Islamophobia, transphobia, homophobia, all that stuff, because they don't engage in it in their lives. Um, it's not something that they do, and so speaking up for justice and against injustice in those areas doesn't interfere with their behaviors. Um, but then those very same people, because they were brought up from an early age to engage in other injustices, they were conditioned, unwittingly conditioned, to, be, to engage in those behaviors, um, uh, will not speak, speak out against injustice in those areas. And, and say it with me, the prime example of that is animal exploitation. We use products, or many people use products that they absolutely don't need, they'd be healthier without them, um, the environment would be much better off without them. Uh, the animals, for sure, would be much, much better off without them. They get tortured, killed, imprisoned, abused, exploited in all kinds of horrific ways because we consume these products. And yet, because people were conditioned from an early age into, in, to engage in behaviors that require all this horrific abuse, they will not speak out against those injustices and they will find all kinds of ways to justify them. So I would like to invite you to be consistent. If you're against injustice, then be uh, against injustice uh, everywhere consistently. And that means being vegan for peace.